yeah. Tonight is Wednesday, and Wednesday night is the night that we make hidden gems. Hey guys, your boy B Minus Gamer, and this is the weekly show where I come through the career mode updates to find you all the best hidden gems in FIFA 15. And guys, this week is incredible. This is the best week for hidden gems in FIFA 15 career mode ever in my history of doing the show. And it's not because my commentary is good. It's because there's just so much freaking new talent in the game. Without further ado, let's get it in. First guy up is this man, the Belgian Aaron Lea Asika. He's the next Romelu Lukaku playing at Lukaku's old club at Anderlecht. And he is getting a plus one, plus two to potential. Welcome to the 80 club, my son. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves. Now, as you can see right here, 5'11", 16 years old. As you can see right here, the only stats that are upgraded are his movement speed, getting a plus 5 to acceleration and plus 2 to sprint speed. As you can see, very decent finishing for a 16-year-old at 66. Good jumping, uh, mediocre heading accuracy, but good strength. Stamina could use a little bit of a boost. But for someone at age 16, ooh, what a beast, what a beast. Starts out at a 64 and grows to an 80. So if you go ahead and do the math really quickly in your head, that is a growth of 16, guys. So if you want a good young beast on your team, get the next Romelu Lukaku, Aaron Laya Asika. This guy is the next... Memphis Depay, I'm going to be saying that a lot in this episode, the next so-and-so, but as you can see right here, Memphis Depay is on his way out to the greatest club in the world, Manchester United, and uh, of course PSV, always a, a deep, deep mind for talent, is bringing in his replacement, Steven Bergwin, if that's even how you pronounce his name, starts out at a 62 and goes all the way up to an 81 potential. He is brand new to the game, as you can see right here, has not been in FIFA this year until now, and he's got a four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, is 5'9", and is right-footed. Let's go ahead and take a look at his stats for the youngster right here. Decent in the movement speeds, uh, 79 excel, 80 sprint speed, and 84 balance with 78 agility. Everything else pretty mediocre. Remember, he does start out at a pretty low rating. Uh, and as you can see right here, it has the flare trait. But remember, he is 16. And this guy has a monstrous growth of freaking 19. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and grab this kid. The next Memphis to pie, Steven Berkeley. This guy is the next Sergio Aguero. I mean, they're both Argentinian and they're both named Sergio. This one's right on the nose. Uh, both of them are strikers. He's a little bit taller than Aguero at 5'11". Now, as you can see, he's getting a plus three to his potential. Welcome to the 80 club, my son. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves. Plays for Union uh, Deportiva Las Palmas. Nothing upgraded, just his potential, but as you can see, Already very good uh, in the dribbling stats as well as ball control. Excellent in all the movement speeds. Uh, pretty darn good. 76 for finishing. Not bad, not bad, my son. And pretty good in, in short passing with 68. Excellent stamina. All those Argentines always tend to have great stamina. Good shot power and decent long shots. Strength actually not even that bad because that's 63. Remember, he's going to grow seven more points uh, with this additional potential. So go ahead and grab the next Sergio Aguero. Sergio Oranio. Another brand new stamina. Banking Ukrainian added into FIFA 15 career mode, and that is this youngster right here, Victor Kovalenko. Uh, can play the CDM. Cam is age 18 and is six foot tall. Plays for Shakhtar Donetsk and uh, starts out at a 69. Hehe, <laughs> and grows all the way up to a 82. That is a massive, massive growth right there of uh, of 13. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look at his stats, guys. Very well balanced uh, for someone so um, very well balanced for someone so low rated. Remember, he is a CDM, and those are excellent movement uh, speed. Those are excellent movement stats for someone in the CDM position, as well as decent with a 66 stand tackle. Good aggression, interceptions, and vision. Long passing at a 65 one way from getting into the yellow, and 73 at short passing. Very good for someone of his age. Excellent, excellent power stats right here. Uh, notably, uh, decent stamina and good strength. And very good long shots and shot power, so he can definitely bang it in. Unfortunately, his finishing uh, could be a little bit better. But, uh, man, if you want a little bit of a gem in the CDM role, go ahead and get this man, Victor Kavalenko. If he dies, he dies. Next up, we're going to be bringing you a talented trio of young Spaniards. First up is Anaki Williams Danis plays for Atletico de Bilbao, can play right wing, left wing, and striker, 20 years old, and is 6'1", 
now he's getting a plus one plus one to potentials let's take a look at his stats did anything increase in attacking no power no goalkeeping probably not skill nah mentality nah defending who cares about that move it oh there we go a freaking plus 10 to sprint speed now he is an absolute blister rocket and plus forward acceleration that is no slow-mo uh, <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination in one week this guy who is already pretty good all of a sudden becomes one a pisse a pisse muffle. go ahead and grab this young spaniard Inaki Williams Denise. Next Spaniard up is Santiago Mina Lorenzo, and he's getting a plus three, plus three to potential. Welcome to the 80 Club, my son. And he has a three star with with three star skill moves, is 5'11, plays for Real Club Celta de Vigo. And this guy, not as piss a piss a muffle as the last Anaki, but uh, he is getting some very nice upgrades in the movement sets as well as uh, good upgrades in the skills, boosting his uh, dribbling and ball control up very nicely. And a monster, monster uh, attacking upgrades with plus six to crossing as well as finishing, plus three to short passing. As you can see, a very, very well balanced player. He can play all along the front, the left, the right, and down the middle. Go ahead and grab this well-balanced Spaniard, Santiago Mina Lorenzo. Last in the Spanish trio is a guy that you guys probably already know, the highly touted talent from Barcelona, and that is Munir. And as you can see, he can play left wing striker, right wing. You guys already know, and as you can see, he's actually getting a negative one to potential. So why am I profiling him here? This is the trade-off that he's getting. He's getting a negative one to potential, but he's getting a massive buff to freaking stamina. Plus 14 to stamina and plus freaking 12 to strength. He was something like ridiculous, like 36 uh, freaking, he was like 38 stamina um, before and pretty much unusable. If you use him for one game, you pretty much had to sit him for like the next two for him to get all of his stamina back. So he was pretty much useless in crew room, but now with this buff, he's uh, usable. <laughs> I mean, you know, like 52 stamina is still pretty terrible, but at least now you can use them every other game. Next up is a guy who's getting a massive boot this week from Aston Villa, and that is Leandro Bakuna. And I pretty much put him in because he has an amazing last name and reminds me of Bakuna Matata. And uh, <laughs> getting a plus two to overall, plus three to potential, that's three star skill is three star. A uh, weak foot can play right mid cam as well as right back. If we take a look at his stats here, he's getting a nice big buff all around. Plus 5 to crossing, plus 4 to short passing, 3 to jumping, and uh, just big, big upgrades all along that defensive line. And plus 1 to sprint speed, as you can see. Very, very well-rounded player. Everything in the light yellows. This guy's going to grow into quite a monster that you can play all along that right side. So uh, yeah, go ahead and grab him. Leandro Bakuna Matata. Next up is this freshman Hassan Kamara with getting one of the biggest potential upgrades I have ever freaking seen in career mode updates and that is a plus 7 to potential getting him up to the 81 welcome to the 80 club my son which a monster growth of 19 he's got 3 star skill moves 2 star um Two star weak foot is 5 6 plays for. I'm not getting an even try. For a 20 year old, he is pretty, pretty good in the movement uh, with very good acceleration and balance and decent swim speed and agility. And everything else is very meager. Remember, he's only a 61, getting a massive upgrade in shot power and finishing respectable, finishing at 60. While nothing super noteworthy down here, remember, he is going to be growing by 19, so all of these are just going to be majorly boosted. Go ahead and take a look at this man, Hassan Kamara. Now, I've been wanting to profile this guy for a really long time, and this is Chancel Mbemba. He has been a hidden gem since the beginning of FIFA 15 career mode. There, a lot of you guys probably already dig him, and I used him in my Southampton career mode, and he was awesome. Getting a plus one to his overall, and he's already in the 80 club. As you can see right here, six foot tall. Center back plays for Anderlecht, getting a plus two to sprint speed, acceleration, and buffs all along the defensive side, as well as plus three to strength and a plus one to jumping. Pretty good heading accuracy, and getting a massive upgrade to dribbling as well as ball control. Maybe he can kind of uh, dribble it out a little bit. There you guys go. If you want an amazing, ma if you want an amazing center back in FIFA 15, Chancel Mbemba is your man. And last on this week is a little bit of a sad one, and that is my boy from Luton Town, Devonte Cole, the striker, right wing, left winger, is getting a negative. Four to his potential and I do not know why I don't know if he's playing all that bad or anything unfortunately he's getting a little bit of a downgrade but yeah that is it for this episode of hidden gems remember this is a weekly series so you want to catch all the former episodes go ahead and take a look um, I'll leave a link to that playlist down below I want to give a quick shout out to jackjacks 98 who left this awesome comment on last week's episode uh, pretty much I want to start profiling and showing giving you guys uh, giving you guys more shout outs remember leave 
comments down below, guys, and hopefully you'll see yourself in a future video. Anyway, this has been your boy B minus. Remember to go ahead and check out my Pokemon Cream Run. We got a new episode coming out really soon. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Until next time, remember, stay humble.